Hello students, in this e-lecture we will discuss some more questions of probability distribution. First question, two cards are drawn simultaneously from a well shuffled pack of 52 cards. Find the probability distribution of the number of kings. Let x denote the number of kings in a draw of two cards. x is a random variable which can assume the values 0, 1 or 2 means no king, one king or two kings. Students, a pack of 52 cards contains 4 kings and 48 other cards. Now, Px equals to 0 is probability of no king. Two cards can be drawn simultaneously in total 52 C2 ways. And as no king occurs, so favorable outcomes are 48 C2. Therefore, Px equals to 0 equals to 48 C2 divided by 52 C2. Using the formula of NCR, simplify it as shown, we get 188 divided by 221. Now, Px equals to 1 is probability of 1 king and 1 non-king card. As two cards drawn simultaneously, so Px equals to 1 equals to 4c1 multiply 48c1 divided by 52c2. Simplify it, we get 32 by 221. Next, Px equals to 2 is probability of 2 kings. This is equals to 4c2 divided by 52c2. Solving this, we get 1 by 221. In next step, write the probability distribution of x in tabular form as shown. Next question. Two numbers are selected at random without replacement from the first six positive integers. Let x denote the larger of the two numbers obtained. Find the probability distribution of x. Here, first number can be selected in six ways. As selected number is not replaced, so second number can be selected in five ways. Therefore, total number of ways in which two numbers can be selected is 6 multiply 5 equals to 30. x is the larger of the two numbers obtained. So x equals to 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. For x equals to 2, the possible observations are 1, 2 and 2, 1 because 2 is larger of the two numbers obtained. So, probability of x equals to 2 is 2 by 30 equals to 1 by 15. For x equals to 3, the possible observations are 1, 3, 3, 1, 2, 3 and 3, 2 because 3 is larger of the two numbers obtained. So, probability of x equals to 3 is 4 by 30 equals to 2 by 15. For x equals to 4, the possible observations are 1, 4, 4, 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 3, 4 and 4, 3 because 4 is larger of the two numbers obtained. So probability of x equals to 4 equals to 6 by 30 equals to 1 by 5. For x equals to 5, the possible observations are 1, 5, 5, 1, 2, 5, 5, 2, 3, 5, 5, 3, 4, 5 and 5, 4. So, probability of x equals to 5 equals to 8 by 30 equals to 4 by 15. For x equals to 6, the possible observations are 1, 6, 6, 1, 2, 6, 6, 2, 3, 6, 6, 3, 4, 6, 6, 4, 5, 6 and 6, 5. So, probability of x equals to 6 equals to 10 by 30 equals to 1 by 3. In next step, we write the required probability distribution as shown here. 
Next question. Let capital X denote the number of hours you study during a randomly selected school day. The probability that capital X can take the value small x has the following form where k is some unknown constant. Probability of capital X equals to small x is 0 0.1 if x is 0, kx if x is 1 or x is 2, k multiply 5 minus x if x is 3 or x is 4 and 0 otherwise. A part, find the value of k. B part, what is the probability that you study at least 2 hours, exactly 2 hours, at most 2 hours. In first step, write the probability distribution in tabular form here. For x equals to 0, px is 0 0.1. For x equals to 1, px is k multiply 1 equals to k. For x equals to 2, px is k multiply 2 equals to 2k. For x equals to 3, px is k multiply 5 minus 3 equals to 2k. For x equals to 4, px is k multiply 5 minus 4 equals to k. For x equals to 5 onwards, px is 0. So, no need to right students we know that sum of all the probabilities of a probability distribution is equals to 1 therefore 0 0.1 plus k plus 2k plus 2k plus k equals to 1 so 0 0.1 plus 6k equals to 1 simplified we get k equals to 0 0.15 in part B, first we need to find probability that you study at least 2 hours. This is equals to P x greater than or equals to 2. Students, study for at least 2 hours means you can study for 2 hours, 3 hours or maybe 4 hours. So, P x greater than or equals to 2 is equals to P x equals to 2 plus P x equals to 3 plus p x equals to 4. This is equals to 2k plus 2k plus k equals to 5k. Put the value of k and then simplify it. We get 0 0.75. Next, probability that you study exactly 2 hours means probability of x equals to 2. This is equals to 2k equals to 2 multiply 0 0.15 equals to 0 0.3. Next, probability that you study at most 2 hours means maximum 2 hours. This is equals to px less than or equals to 2 which is equals to px equals to 0 plus px equals to 1 plus px equals to 2. This is equals to 0 0.1 plus k plus 2k equals to 0 0.1 plus 3k. Put the value of k and then simplify it. We get 0 0.55. Next question. A random variable x has the following probability distribution. Using this information, determine k, probability of x less than 3, probability of x greater than 6 and probability of x when it lies between 0 and 3. Students, we know that the sum of all the probabilities in a probability distribution of a random variable is equals to 1. In this distribution, sum of all the probabilities is equals to 10k square plus 9k. According to condition, 10k square plus 9k equals to 1. It implies that 10k square plus 9k minus 1 equals to 0. Factorize 10k square plus 9k minus 1 by splitting the middle term. We get 10k minus 1 multiply k plus 1 equals to 0. So, we get two values of k minus 1 and 1 by 10. As we know that probability can't be negative, so k equals to minus 1 rejected and value of k is 1 by 10. In second part, 
we have to find p x less than 3 this is equals to p x equals to 0 plus p x equals to 1 plus p x equals to 2 equals to 0 plus k plus 2 k equals to 3 k now put k equals to 1 by 10 we get p x less than 3 equals to 3 by 10 in third part we have to find p x greater than 6 in probability distribution there exists only one value of x for greater than 6 that is 7 so p x greater than 6 equals to p x equals to 7 equals to 7 k square plus k now put the value of k and simplify it we get 17 by 100 in fourth part we have to find probability of x lies between 0 and 3 here two values of x exist between 0 and 3 that is 1 and 2 so probability of 0 less than x less than 3 equals to probability of x equals to 1 plus probability of x equals to 2 this is equals to k plus 2k equals to 3k equals to 3 multiply 1 by 10 equals to 3 by 10 next question find the probability distribution of number of heads in three tosses of a fair coin also find mean and variance of the probability distribution students first we need to find probability distribution of number of heads when a fair coin is tossed three times the sample space of the experiment is a set s containing eight possible outcomes as shown here x represents the number of heads thus x is a random variable which can take the values 0 1 2 or 3 now p x equals to 0 equals to probability of no head equals to 1 by 8 p x equals to 1 equals to probability of exactly one head equals to 3 by 8 p x equals to 2 equals to probability of getting exactly two heads equals to 3 by 8 and p x equals to 3 equals to probability of all the three heads equals to 1 by 8 now write the probability distribution as shown here now we have to find mean and variance of the probability distribution so please note the formula directly proofs of these formulas are not required mean is equals to sigma pi xi and variance equals to sigma pi xi square minus sigma pi xi whole square where xi represents values of random variable x and pi represents corresponding probabilities in this question values of xi are 0 1 2 and 3 corresponding probabilities are 1 by 8 3 by 8 3 by 8 and 1 by 8 now pi xi is 0 multiply 1 by 8 equals to 0 1 multiply 3 by 8 equals to 3 by 8 2 multiply 3 by 8 equals to 6 by 8 and 3 multiply 1 by 8 equals to 3 by 8 for pi xi square multiply pi xi with xi we get 0 multiply 0 equals to 0 1 multiply 3 by 8 equals to 3 by 8 2 multiply 6 by 8 equals to 12 by 8 and 3 multiply 3 by 8 equals to 9 by 8 now mean equals to sigma pi xi equals to 0 plus 3 by 8 plus 6 by 8 plus 3 by 8 equals to 12 by 8 equals to 1.5 variance equals to sigma pi xi square minus sigma pi xi whole square now sigma pi xi square equals to 0 plus 3 by 8 plus 12 by 8 plus 9 by 8 equals to 24 by 8 equals to 3 and value of sigma pi xi we have already calculated for mean that is equals to 1.5 and its square is 2.25 substitute the values we get 3 minus 2.25 equals to 0 0.75 now home assignment do questions of exercise 13.4 thank you